Welcome to Snack Time with NASA. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Snack Time with NASA. I'm your host, Kathleen Gaeta, and this is my dog, Bowie, and we both really love cheese. So this past year at home, I think we've all learned to appreciate the little things in life, and again, one of those things for us is a nice big cheese board. So today, I'm gonna show you how I like to prepare my own and where NASA actually fits on the board. Many people don't know that NASA has a lot to do with the food on your plate. So we're gonna highlight some of the foods NASA helps grow using data from space. Now, when you think of NASA and dairy especially, you might think of a freeze-dried ice cream for astronauts, but the connection actually goes a lot deeper. So why a cracker and cheese board? When we're talking about food, it all comes down to water. Corn, soy, alfalfa, it all needs water to grow, whether it's being fed to humans or dairy cows. So when farmers are better prepared for a water shortage in advance, they can make more sustainable decisions, like what crops to grow, how to irrigate them, and where and what to feed their livestock. So here to help explain the connection between space and plate is Matt Rodell, NASA hydrospheric scientist. Hey Matt, how's it going? Hey Kathleen, how are you? Thanks for having me. I'm good, thanks for being here. So while I attempt to cube some cheese, can you tell me what NASA has to do with irrigation for agriculture? Absolutely. So, so agriculture requires uh, a nice wet soil for growing crops. In order to know how well the crops are going to grow, the farmers need to have a better idea of how much water there is in the soil. And so we've been coming up with better ways for monitoring uh, soil wetness from space. Um, one of the ways we do this is we use a, a NASA satellite called SMAP, which is an acronym. And SMAP actually measures the wetness in the top of the soil worldwide um, every day. And this information is vital for understanding how much water is available for the plants, how much water is uh, needed for irrigating the crops. And so it's useful for farmers and land managers and, uh, and others. Um, it's also useful for monitoring drought. Another mission that NASA has uh, is called GRACE, which is another acronym. Um, and GRACE is really incredible because it, it uses measurements of Earth's gravity field to understand the amount of water on and in the land surface. So we can even measure things like the amount of water in the, in the underground aquifers, deep underground. This is vitally important because groundwater is, is one of the main sources of water for agriculture. It's also a source of water for for people who have uh, wells in their backyard like I do. So when I turn the faucet on, that's groundwater coming out. And in fact, about half the produce that we eat, we have groundwater to thank for that because it's used for that much irrigation. This includes things like, like the wheat in your crackers, uh, soy, fruits and vegetables on your, on your platter, etc. So all of these things NASA is doing are really contributing to our understanding of the water availability that's critical for irrigating all of these crops. Interesting, and a good reminder that this cheese board needs dressing up. So I have edamame in front of me, and what I believe to be the most underrated part of a cheese board, which are carrots and olives. Yeah, those are pretty uh, water-intensive crops, and they're grown in the Central Valley, which is someplace where, where proper water management is really critical. I see you have some grapes there, too. Uh, speaking of grapes, uh, NASA has an ongoing project with uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Vintners in California called GrapeX where we're using data from Landsat satellite along with multiple other uh, space and ground-based observation sources and advanced computer models to help to schedule irrigation for these vineyards and therefore preserve um, the precious resource water. It's really precious in California where there's an ongoing drought right now um, as well as most of the American West. Um, we use data from, from multiple satellites to monitor drought um, this helps the end users like the farmers and the ranchers and, uh, and others that are interested in agriculture to better prepare for drought and to better plan how to, to, uh, to mitigate the effects of drought. Um, drought is going to become even more important in the future, we believe, with climate change. It's likely that in some parts of the world, droughts are going to become more uh, frequent and more intense. And uh, it's possible that the dry parts of the world will get drier, wet parts of the world will get wetter. That's where NASA comes in. So we're helping with not only uh, the current monitoring drought, but the forecasting of, uh, of near current drought, and then uh, predictions of how climate is gonna change in the future and how it's gonna affect our water resources. Well, Matt, it looks like my cheese board's done. What do you think? I think it looks delicious and I can't wait to go start my own lunch. 
Thanks so much for having me, Kathleen. Thank you for joining me. And thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned a lot. I know I did. And I hope this episode wasn't too cheesy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good?